This Christmas, the Hallmark Channel presents a very Merry Thriftmas. <sighs> Sherry, get into my office now. Yes, sir, right away. You, you wanted to see me, sir? We just landed the Fiverr account, and I want you to head it up. Oh, really? And your first order of business is to head to 123 Main Street and evict the tenants from the property so we can tear it down and build a mega thrift. Count on me, sir. 123 Main Street. Where is this place? <gasps> there it is. Welcome to Thrifty Bonds. Christopher? Is that you, Jerry? Do you want to? I actually own the place. Oh. Christopher, it's no coincidence that I showed up here today. You see, I work for Rob Steele and Cheatham, and they sent me here to evict you from the property. But instead of me stealing this property from you, you've stolen my heart. Jerry, you marry me. Oh, Christopher, this is all so sudden. My head is spinning. My heart what is coming. It's like a Hallmark movie. I just I have no idea. My head is spinning. My heart. Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. Cheer the snow. Christopher, it's snowing. And you're surprised. <gasps> I mean, it's, it's a Hallmark movie. What, what did you expect? Who would have thunk it? Welcome to Thriftmas, day one. Mr. Hankers, are you supposed to be on the sofa? Now, Mr. Hankers, I'm going thrifting for my subscribers. That means you and Bruiser have to be good for Daddy. And when I get home, if he says you've been good, you know what you get to do? We get to open the doggy advent calendar. And you and your brother will get a treat, okay? But only if you're good. Love you. Yes, it is finally here. It is Thriftmas. I'm singing. I know people call it Vlogmas, but on this channel, we're calling it Thriftmas. And today, we're thrifting for my subscribers. I was so hoping to be playing Christmas music. It would have made this experience so much better. Don't worry. You know me. It's Thriftmas, so there'll be a lot of Christmas music in this video. Uh, the, what? Okay, what is this? Homemade Christmas ornament. These are little plastic cups that someone put together. Oh my goodness, that would be adorable in trees out in the yard. Oh my gosh, very cool. Well, I don't know if you could put this outdoors. I don't know if that's meant for outdoors, but very cool. I mentioned this place to my daughter-in-law. Actually, she found me two items. She found me a blue and white sugar bowl because I broke the first one she, she gave me a couple of years ago. And she found my round butter dish for me. Here is the beautiful butter dome that my daughter-in-law found me. Isn't this gorgeous? And on the front, it's a wreath, but it almost looks like a C for Mr. C. How adorable. And the beautiful sugar bowl. Look at this. Oh, and I have little sugar cubes. I love using little sugar cubes. So much easier than the granulated, but look at that. She replaced this after I broke the one she bought me two years ago, and she knows me so well. I love my blue and white, so does she. But yeah, she found both of these for, I think, less than $20. Oh, that's beautiful. $24.49 blue swans. Let's see. Oh, that's funny. Goodwill, $3.99. They forgot to take the sticker off, and they're going to sell it for $24.49. Hey, don't hate to play it. Hate the game. Oh, Oh, that is beautiful. If you have a fireplace and you can put off your matches in there, I'm assuming that's what this is. It doesn't say, but that's what I would use it for. I mean, you could use it for just about anything, but I think that's what it's made for. Oh, what's in the box? What is that? Oh, it's a toolbox. How beautiful is that toolbox? Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Wow. That's gorgeous. That's like a piece of art. Another box. Let's see what this one is. So pretty. I have no idea what this is. Directions for using Ryko lettering guides for scriber lettering. Oh, okay. I still don't understand what it is, but pretty cool. I don't know if you guys are like this, but anytime I go in a booth and it says 50% off, 40% off, 90% off, I usually don't find anything. But if there's no sale, I find everything. I always find the most expensive things in the store. I like that little federal mirror. I really regret selling the one I had, but I think I sold it for 80 or $90 on eBay. But I would like to find a larger one. This one's 54, it's a little small. It's um, Sirocco. Yeah, American Eagle Convex Federal Bullseye. Yeah, I do regret selling the one I found. Of course, I know I can't keep everything I find. I do have to resell and make some money. But there are some things I regret selling. I have some regrets. This booth usually has some really, really inexpensive items. If it's the same vendor that's always been here, yeah. Really inexpensive items, kind of a, an eclectic mix of items here. 
So let's take a gander what they got. I have a YouTube channel. Okay, I just want to make sure. My boss, I'm a good foreman, and my boss was like, he was like, if you see anybody filming in the store, you need to ask them why and find out what they're doing. I was casing the place. Oh, what is that? The Italy serving dish. Oh my gosh, I like that. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, I know you could probably serve anything on it. I just wonder what. Italy. I don't, it's not Beatry. I think it would be marked if it were. That's beautiful. Very nice. 50% off. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, that's really pretty inside. $10. I'm sure it's a jewelry box. It is. But I like the lacquer finish to it. Oh, that's really pretty. Is there anything on top? No. That's beautiful. I don't think you'd go wrong with boxes when it comes to styling your home. Ooh, I like that. $34, a three-tier buffet serving stand. Could you see this at Christmas? Oh, I like the little bulbs they have on her, the ornaments. Very pretty. I like that color, too. That'd be beautiful to put on your appetizer or dessert buffet. I like that. Brass candle holders. They're ducks. I've never seen anything like that. Nine dollars each. I'm sure it's each. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. I like it. Oh, but I really like this. Oh, I love horses. Seventy-five dollars. Brass horse on wood base. That's fantastic. American quarter horse. Oh, I would love that. So pretty. Oh, these are really nice too. What are the price on these? I like that brown. It's almost like a tortoise. There's no price tag. Oh, I hate when that happens. All right, Rose and Diane, I'm not finding anything just yet. I mean, we still, I've only gone through half the store, but I want to find you something that's just perfect. So the pressure is on, the pressure is on. For some reason, I am drawn to silver boxes nowadays. Oh, that's really pretty. I found some at the thrift store to decorate with, to decorate a coffee table I don't have. I like this. Oh, let's see. Ooh, it's got some weight to it. Yeah, she's thick. Godinger. How pretty. Okay, it's just a um, jewelry box. $38. That's not bad. I don't need it, but I really like that. Oh my goodness, $59. Oh, it's very light though. I thought it'd be a lot heavier. Revere large copper tea kettle, just sitting on a stove. How spectacular would that be? Oh, I'm curious, that's probably $70. That's really pretty. They look like large ice buckets on stands. But they'd be really pretty with some florals in it. Let's see, handcrafted in India. That's really pretty. Look what someone did. Oh my gosh, I like how they did that. Oh, okay, I thought first it was uh, snow, but it's actually all attached together. Valerie. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And I don't think I've ever seen like the green with the cloche. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine seeing these like in Varian Heights? on a buffet for Christmas. That's really not a bad price, I don't think so. Very nice. Look at the candle holders, $10 a piece. Pewter candle holders. You know, I actually like it without that and just put a candle on them. $10 a piece, that's really great. And I like they're both not the same height. I don't know, I like varying heights when it comes to like displaying candles or when you're doing a buffet. I don't know, I think just to the eye, it looks a little bit better. It's more appealing, I guess you could say. I know I'm supposed to be shopping for my subscribers, but look at this silver plate Lazy Susan. And it's $15. How fantastic is this? Oh my 
word. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I mean, how can I not get it? Oh, I can see this at Christmas. Yeah, 15, your girl's getting it. Oh my goodness, look at these ashtrays. It reminds me of the Christmas one I found that I didn't think anyone would buy. Someone bought it. <laughs> and it reminds me of this, that very mid-century modern. Oh my gosh, little doggy. Look how this booth is set up. They did a really great job. It's very inviting. Let's see, 25% off. Oh, I love booths like this where they're, they are just kind of draw you in to look around. Yeah, they did a really great job setting this up. I have two of these. This one's 1850. I don't remember the size of the other two because <laughs> it would look good with three of them, but I love those. I think they're quail. Oh, it says pheasant. I don't know. It's a bird. Oh, look at the color of that. It's a teal. It says green, but that's really pretty. It'd be nice to put tea bags in that. $18. I like the color. Does mama have good boys in the house? You guys sit, fellas. So we have a gingerbread man. Wait, no. And then we have, it looks like, I don't know what it is. But it's something. Do I have two good boys? Do I? You're not saying much. This is a peanut butter wrapped with chicken. I know, you guys sit. My babies have to sit. Hank, you're sitting. Bruiser, you're standing. Okay, you ready, Hank? This is for Hank. This is for you, brother. You gotta be a good boy. And that's for Boozer. Good job, fellas. I had such a fun time thrifting for my subscribers, Rose and Diane. I hope you love what I picked out. Rose says she is eclectic, leaning toward vintage, and Diane is everything vintage. And when I picked these items out, I picked them out because they're beautiful, but also because you could do other things with them, not just what they were intended for. I also tried to find items that were lightweight because postage cost an arm and a leg. And I thought to myself, would I have these in my home? Diane, for you, I picked out this beautiful copper pitcher. I guess, well, it's not really a pitcher. What would you really consider it? It reminds me of a, a gravy boat. I know it's not a gravy boat. It just, you can pour stuff out of it. And it has a beautiful blue and white porcelain handle right here. So beautiful. And I picked it up because it's beautiful, but also you could use it just about anywhere. I'm thinking putting it in your kitchen, you could put your sponges in here, put it on a coffee bar, you could put packs of sugar, Splenda, anything like that. Or you could do a little floral arrangement in there, or you could just put it on the shelf somewhere. You could put matches in here, you could put anything in here. But I would definitely have this in my home, put it on a stack of books. I love copper and when I saw the copper and the blue and white together that to me screamed vintage and for Rose Rose said eclectic leaning toward vintage I found I've never seen anything like this before it has the flower frog on the vase beautiful black and it has roses on it that kind of drew me to it I think it is so beautiful and I love the flower frogs because it's easier to style your flowers and you could take it off if you don't want that. And you could use it for really anything. Put it on your vanity. You could put your makeup brushes in here. You could do whatever with it. So when I look for items for both of you, I'm thinking beautiful, but I'm also thinking, how can you get some use out of them? So I hope you both love these items. I'll be shipping them to you very, very soon. I wanna thank everyone who entered the Thrifting for My Subscribers giveaway. I think maybe when I hit 15,000 on this channel, we'll do it again. And also I am doing Vlogmas over on my second channel, The Curated Life. Over there, we are just celebrating the season. I'm doing little Christmassy DIYs, decorating trees, just zhuzhing up little areas in my home. So if you'd like to come over there, I will leave the link. Well, there'll be a card here and a link down in the description box. I don't really have a set schedule for Vlogmas over on that second channel. I do know that I am posting on Sunday, which is the regular day that I upload. And then I'll be posting one to two extra videos during the week leading up to Christmas. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you join the community. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you right back here in two more days for Vlogmas. Nope, nope, nope. Thriftmas, day two.